Hello everyone, welcome to another time-lapse sketching tutorial. So this sketch that I have here, this was drawn a few days ago on location. This was drawn with pen and ink and painted with Sumi ink. So I didn't record my drawing process the other day because I was lazy, but this is an interesting scene, so I decided to redraw it again for my patrons and this video that you're watching this is actually the condensed version of the full-length tutorial that i have made for my patrons and speaking of patrons i would like to thank the following new patrons in february we have if deal mercan luca anthony jutes carl fischel dan wong jocelyn greg west lisa Nordell, Maria Jose, Ludivin, thank you all for supporting me on Patreon. By the way, if you do not know what is Patreon, Patreon is a website where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to support the artists that you like, and in return you get some goodies. In my case, you get access to all the full-length sketching tutorials that I have created over the years. So Patreon is basically how I support myself in addition to having a full-time job. And it's with Patreon that I am able to make all sorts of YouTube videos on my channel. And it's also the main reason why you do not see sponsorship and ads on my channel. So do consider supporting me on Patreon. Alright, for this tutorial, you can download the reference photo from the video description below. Now this particular scene, it's a one-point perspective scene. So there are a lot of details, which is why I'm using my pencil to draft out the important lines, to draft out the layout and composition first. So I started by drawing the pillars on the right side because they are relatively easier to draw compared to the buildings in perspective, which are on the left side. So the pillars are basically right rectangles and I subdivide them into smaller and smaller rectangles because I want to use the vertical lines, sorry, the horizontal lines of the pillars to help me get the positions of the buildings on the left side later on. Now for this one point perspective scene, there are actually two vanishing points and it's very important to find a vanishing point first for such uh, scenes. So one vanishing point is for the pillars on the right side. The other vanishing point is for the buildings on the left side. And the vanishing points for these two uh, buildings, they do not coincide at the same uh, point. So that's one thing to take note of. So with the pillar drawn I am now actually drawing the left side. So I'm using the width of the pillar to help me gauge the width of the buildings on the left side because I need to get the width of the buildings correct. Uh, I need to get the width of the buildings correct because the left side of the buildings, they are in perspective and they are for shortened. So for the buildings that are further in the background, you can see the windows, they are very compressed and for windows that are nearest, nearer to us, they are bigger. So we need to get the width correct and continue to subdivide the sketch into smaller and smaller parts so that we can get the proportion right. So for the roads, um, the roads, they also follow the vanishing point. So the diagonal line that I'm about to draw, you have to draw that diagonal line to the vanishing point. So when it comes to drawing one point perspective, you can draw the diagonal lines based on what you see in real life, or you can find a vanishing point and then draw to the vanishing point with the knowledge of perspective. So you don't need to know perspective in order to draw perspective, but knowing perspective can help you check your perspective and can help you sketch better and more accurately. So now I'm just inking the pencil, inking over the pencil lines. Again, trying to draw the big shapes first and filling in the details later on. Now for this particular uh, pillar, 
I'm able to see the side of the pillar. So the side that is facing me, it's darker, but the side that's facing out to the road, it's actually brighter. And we need to get that side, the width of that side, which is very small, correct. We need to get that width accurate in relation to the whole pillar so that we can convey the sense of perspective. For this pillar that I'm drawing, there is a part that is closer to me and one part that is a bit further away that protrudes out towards the road. So the part that protrudes out to the road, the width of that pillar is smaller compared to the bigger pillar. So we need to get that size proportion right. Now at this point, I made a mistake drawing the horizontal lines. So if you take a look at the reference photo, you can see that I have divided the pillar into a bit too many sections. So yeah. Anyway, when I'm drawing, if you spot mistakes, that's great. That's because you are actually looking at the scene and you are trying to make sense of the scene. And if you spot any discrepancies, any mistakes that I make, that is great because uh, it really means that you are learning. So I've just drawn the buildings in perspective on the left side. There is another vanishing point for the big wall on the left side that goes uh, to the left out of the edge of this video, out of the edge of the sketched book. So for that diagonal line at the top left, I have to draw from observation. Now notice I am drawing the buildings without the windows. I'm just drawing the shapes of the buildings. I'm just trying to get the vertical lines out first and try to get the diagonal lines out. So this shop houses, the vanishing point is actually inside the pillar on the left and the vanishing point is at my eye level. That's why you see the lines, they uh, go down. So these are the cars parked along the streets. Uh, the thing about cars is the top of the cars are at my eye level. So all the cars that you are going to draw, all the tops of those cars will align together. There are many elements in front of the buildings, like the triangular shelter, the big signboard, the coconut trees, the potted plant. So you need to draw all those elements first because they overlap the buildings behind. And when you have all these overlapping elements, it creates a nice sense of depth. There is foreground, there is background and they will work together with the diagonal lines to create the sense of perspective. And drawing all those things, um, well, you have to take time to draw them because those are very little elements and those are the details that will help make your sketch look more lively. So for this particular building that I'm drawing now, there are a lot of different walls, some of the walls are going in and then they turn, come out and then they go in again and there are windows on the walls, on some of the walls. Uh, I forgot to draw the end conditioning units by the way. Alright, so for this big wall on the left side, the line at the bottom it's not horizontal, it's actually tilted slightly because the vanishing point is above the ground. So this sketch is almost complete. Now it's all about filling in the details, more specifically the windows. So I'm drawing the parallel lines for the building there that you see. Now all these parallel lines, they will point to the vanishing point. So you don't have to actually go and measure the angles of those parallel lines. Just use the vanishing point to help you draw those lines. And here there is this uh, roof behind the coconut tree, which I drew a line in front of the tree, which should be behind. Uh, sometimes when you draw too fast, you make mistakes. So anyway, it's just a sketch. So you don't have to be too precious about uh, the sketch. And here I draw some windows 
For details in the background, I'm just going to suggest them with dots. I like the windows on this particular wall because you can see the design it's sort of random but it's also not random and compared to rows of regular uniform windows uh, those windows they look more interesting now this is a restaurant so there are a lot of tables and chairs which I just drew and now I'm just touching up the sketch so this diagonal line for the road curve that diagonal line will go to the vanishing point all right so this is the completed sketch today we just focus on drawing a one point perspective scene so i'm skipping the coloring part all right i hope this video is helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and once again thank you my patrons for supporting me See you guys in the next video. Bye.